Enable guest users to book appointments by using flows in Salesforce Scheduler. Enable your prospects to book appointments with the right resource at their preferred time and place. We can use a cloned version of the inbound new guest appointment flow to enable prospects to book appointments from Experience Cloud Sites and from your company website. First, let's look at how to enable prospects to book appointments from Experience Cloud Sites. Start by creating an Experience Cloud Site and adding the flow to it. Create an Experience Cloud Site. Enter a name and URL for the site. Open the Builder. Add the flow component. Select the flow. Enable guest access to the site. Publish your changes. Now we set up object permissions. Open the guest user profile for the site. Provide the permissions to create service appointments. Similarly, provide object permissions to create leads and provide read access to objects that are required to create a service appointment. Open the time slots object and then provide read access to the maximum appointments and work type group fields. Next, we provide flow access. To provide flow access to the guest profile, first, override the default behavior and restrict access. Then, enable the system administrator profile. Return to the guest user profile and then provide access to the flow. Next, grant record access. We create a sharing rule to provide access to service resource records. Similarly, create sharing rules to provide access to service territory, work type, and work type group records. We're almost done. Let's activate the site and test it. Open the Experience Cloud Site workspace and then activate the site. Open the site in a different browser to ensure that guest users can access it. Guest users can now access the flow from an Experience Cloud site and directly book appointments. Now, let's look at how to enable prospects to book appointments from your company sites. First, we expose the flow from an external website. Open the documentation page that contains the code to add a flow to a website by using Lightning Out. Copy the style information and then add it to the website source page. Similarly, add the reference to the JavaScript Lightning Out library. And add the code to load and activate the Lightning Out guest app. Copy the site URL. And then replace the placeholders in the code with the site URL. Similarly, we copy the API name of the flow and replace the placeholder value. Replace Lex container with the page location where we want to insert the Lightning component. In this example, we'll retain the default name. Add code to invoke the Lightning component. Now we add the website URL to the Salesforce CORS allow list. Open the CORS page and then add your website URL to the allowed origins list. Then enable the CORS for OAuth endpoints. Open the website from a different browser to test the functionality. Success! The flow is now accessible from an external website and prospects can use the flow to book appointments. To learn more, check out these resources. Or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.